What's good guys in this video we're gonna learn how to use email and text templates your text and email templates can be found under your sub account under the marketing tab and then first we're gonna go up here to email templates so a template is pretty self-explanatory you build it one time and then you can use it for a long time and send it to a bunch of people after you've just built it once to create an email template we're just gonna click new here and then we're gonna go to email marketing templates and then I just wanted to show you this first you guys can choose from all of these different templates that go high level already has built out and you can just like change the logo change the text and some of the images the way that you want to these are a bunch of holiday emails um, but they have all these different categories over here on the left that you can choose from and copy and paste these templates that go high levels already built out or you can go in and create a template from scratch by clicking blank template and then you would just select design editor and then it takes us to the place where we can actually go in and customize our email we can go in and click on the title and change the text of the title around we can make it left oriented or right oriented we can make it bold italicized or underlined and then we can change the font size and the spacing and all these different things um, once you have your title set up if you even want one if you don't you can just delete this right here then you can drag in different elements into the email we can drag in text right here and then we can type in our heading and then our body text um, but let's say we don't want to do text let's say we want to do like an image instead we can just drag the image in and then we can hit replace and then we can select our image in here if it's not in here you can just hit upload file and bring it in and then once we have our image pasted in here we can go in and put like a button below it and then we can customize the button by changing the text of the button um, like to book a call or something like that and then we can also change the font of the button text and some other features here color the roundness of the button padding between different sections etc divider just puts a line between different sections and then you can change like the height of the line and then the width of the line and the color and the pattern and all that kind of stuff and then social is pretty cool it actually puts all of your social media platforms in the email that somebody can click on and it'll take them to your facebook or instagram or twitter google pinterest that kind of stuff how you would link them to these places is you would just click on this little edit button by facebook you'd put in your facebook url here and then when they click on facebook it'll take them to your facebook profile and you can do the same with your instagram url and you would just change each one of these individually so that whenever they click on them, it'll take them to those pages. Footer's pretty self-explanatory to go at the bottom of your email. It would just have like your final company information at the bottom. If you wanna do your own custom code, you can do that in here as well. Um, I'm not a coder. I really wouldn't even know how to use this. So I'm just gonna delete this out of here. You can embed a video into your email which is pretty cool. You can do it from YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, or you can just do an HTML link. And then you put in the video URL right here and it'll actually play the video straight in the email, which is really cool. It doesn't take them to YouTube or Vimeo, which is awesome. And you can add in your video thumbnail that shows up in the email. A lot of cool features here. Another cool one is you can have a shopping cart right in the email so somebody can check out and like purchase your products, which is honestly like super straightforward and pretty cool. I don't usually do this for my emails, um, but you could definitely add that in there if you're wanting to be super upfront and just say, hey, you can buy my product or service right here in the email. And then the RSS header and RSS item, I've really never used those and don't know what they do. I think it has something to do with your website where it copies in info from your website. And when you update it on your website, it'll also update it in here, but I'm really not sure. You'll just have to look that one up. And then you just name your email template at the top, and then you would hit save template, go back, and then you could see your template right here and then you can always go back in and edit it at any time next we're going to go over the text templates um, you can add text message templates just like what we did with the email but for text messages it's not as in-depth and you can't put as many things in there like you could on the email but you can always just create a text as a template if you find that it's a text that you're going to be sending out to a lot of people you might as well just go in and create a template for it so we would just go to add template and add text template and then we can name the template uh, we can just name it like software text or whatever and then we can type the message hey and then we can add in custom values hey contact first name this is jasper with advanced selling systems and then you would type out the rest of your message from here and then you can always attach a file and put the link to the url right here in the message and then you can always test it and see what it looks like so you can send it to yourself um, but once you're done with this you would just hit save and then you'll see the message right here and you can always go in and edit it at any time building your templates also works together with your automations so i'm going to go to the automations tab here 
and then I'm just gonna hit create a workflow and then I'm gonna build one from scratch. And then if we wanted to send a text as one of our automated actions, we can do that here. And then we can actually select that text template that we just built out right here. And then boom, it'll show just like we typed it out in the template and then we can hit save action. And then the same thing for email. If we wanted to send an email as one of our automations, um, we can type in all this stuff and then we can select the template, the one that we just built out right here, and it will send that email template that we just built out. So instead of having to go in and like typing out the email right here in this little box, that doesn't have as many functionalities as the email builder. We can just build it in the email builder first and then select the template that we wanna send out. We can also use our text and email templates from the conversations tab. If we wanna send that text template that we just built out to somebody, we would just go down to send SMS and then we would click on this little use a template button and then this box pops up and we can select from our different templates. This is the one we just created and then we would hit use template. And then it pastes the template into the message box. It doesn't send it right away. So we can always take a template and then we can like edit things and change things in it and then we can just hit send now. Or if we wanna send an email, we can do the same thing with an email template by just clicking this email button and then use a template for email instead of having to type it out here. At the end of the day, using templates for text and email can take a little bit of time up front, but it can save you a lot of time in the long run. And that's the whole point of using Go High Level and automating your business. It's to help save you time and make you more money. So hopefully this has helped you guys learn how to take advantage of those text and email templates.